breaking wudu and having doubts even if you are say 95 to 99 percent sure that you've broken wudu there is that one percent doubt that you have that it may just be possible that you haven't break broken wudu in that instance we take it as you haven't broken wudu because you're not 100 percent sure and that 99 percent maybe just doubt or what's was in your head the messenger of allah sallallahu alaihi was asked about the man who felt that he broke his wudu rasul said to him that let him not until he is until he he has heard something or he smells something imam number we mentions the understanding of this is that to be absolutely sure smelling and hear uh, smelling and hearing is not a condition in itself it points to absolute surety so you know you will know if you've broken wudu like if there is going to be a sound, it's going to be a considerable sound. If there's going to be a smell, it's going to be a smell. Not something that you think that you smelt or you think, oh, there is a smell in the room and it may be this. See, when you think like this, again, it's just doubt. So sometimes people have a feeling that they have, that they've passed wind. They may have a slight movement. Uh, there may be a slight gas movement within the rectum and they feel like they've broken their wudu. This isn't 100% surety, right? Unless you've heard and, and not heard a clear sound or there's a clear strong smell, we assume that we have wudu and we carry on praying.